it's just a resilient group. You know, they've been doing this all season long, and you know, I, I want to, uh, you know, thank the organization. Uh, you know, Tony, uh, Jamie, and Travis uh, for the opportunity to work with this group. Uh, they've been a great group all season long. You know, it was a huge challenge uh, for them uh, once, you know, Coach Pierce was let go. And I, you know, I challenged those guys to be better, uh, to do better, um, to sacrifice, to commit to each other, and they did. Um, and, you know, it just shows that uh, when you get a group of guys just working together um, for the same common goal, uh, they have talent. Every NBA team has talent. Uh, you can win games. And, you know, what they uh, did uh, this season is, is no, it wasn't luck wasn't involved. Uh, it was hard work. It was sacrificing. It was committing. Uh, to each other. It was trusting each other. Uh, and the effort was there every single night. And, uh, you know, they uh, played them, themselves into the Eastern Conference Finals, um, you know, with a chance to uh, go to uh, the finals. But, you know, Milwaukee is a really good team. They, they're a really good team. Uh, I know they was missing Giannis. Uh, but that team uh, was on a mission. They've been on a mission for the last couple of years. Um, you know, every time we tried to make a run tonight, they answered. And, uh, you know, they just, you know, Bud and his crew uh, really just did a solid job in this series. I thank them. I thank them for committing. Uh, I thank them for sacrificing. Uh, I thank them for trusting and um, and believing. Uh, and uh, I mean, because it, it, none of this would have happened uh, if we didn't do all of those things. And they did. You know, they sacrificed. Uh, they committed. Uh, they believed. And you know what we were trying to do here. Uh, the changes that we were trying to make, uh, you know, taking that next step, uh, you know, committing to each other, playing the game the right way, um, playing, the game, playing the game together. And, and all of those guys uh, did that. You know, we had a ton of injuries uh, this season. And, you know, guys like Solomon and Tony Snell, uh, Brandon, uh, you know, they all stepped in. Uh, when they got their opportunity and uh, made the most of it. And then you have Clint and, and, and Kevin and uh, Bogey. Um, uh, you know, Cam comes back from an injury and gives us a lift. You know, Trey just, you know, I've seen a lot of growth um, in this team, uh, in Trey uh, leading uh, this team. And as I, you know, told him, uh, this, this, this wasn't a fluke. Uh, this wasn't luck. You know, he's built for this time of the season, and uh, he did a hell of a job leading his team uh, here. I, 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 I told them that. It, it, it certainly could be. You know, you, you've, they've gotten a taste of uh, what it takes to get here. It's hard. It's hard. And... Uh, they committed uh, to working hard and basically approached it one game at a time. And uh, you know they, we, you know, beat some really good teams, New York and you know, Philadelphia, uh, you know, to get here. So, uh, yeah, you know, this could be the start of uh, something that is consistent. Uh, I know the organization. Uh, you know, Tony just talked about his commitment to this team and this organization uh, to continue to win. You know, they want to win here. Uh, he wants to build a winner. And, uh, you know, you know he'll, he's willing to do whatever it takes. You know, that was his message uh, to the team. And, uh, you know, just I, I have a great deal of respect for these guys and uh, their approach to this season and my coaching staff. You know, that my, it, it, it doesn't happen if this coaching staff doesn't uh, do the job that they did to, uh, for me to take over a team mid-season 
and for this team to uh, have the turnaround that it did, uh, a lot of a lot of things had to uh, fall in place and work for us. And the coaching staff uh, did a great job of uh, helping me adjust and adapt, uh, keeping these guys uh, mentally, physically ready to go. And um, you know, uh, we all challenge ourselves and each other. Uh, to have a successful season. So I want to give, you know, thanks to those guys as well. Tim Bontemps. Uh, Nate, obviously, Trey missed the last couple of games, came back today. Uh, what about he was fighting that foot but trying to play through it? What did you see from his performance? I saw a guy, you know, the, the message was uh, uh, no regrets. You know, we don't want no regrets uh, after this game tonight. And uh, we leave everything we have out on the floor. And that's what I saw from Trey. Uh, the fact that he hasn't uh, did, he hasn't done anything on the floor uh, since the injury. Uh, this was the first time that he has uh, done anything live on the floor. Uh, so he was gassed. You know, he was breathing hard. Cam was the same way. You know, both of those guys, uh, you know, tonight left everything they had out on the floor. And I thought, as a group, I thought we did. You know, and, and that was the message. No regrets at the end of this game. Empty your tank. And uh, I thought this group, they did. You, you mentioned the Tony talk in the locker room about um, the, the vision you see for this team going forward, things you guys can do. You obviously still technically have an interim tag on your title. Do you want to be back? We're gonna we're gonna talk. Of course, we're gonna talk. Uh, I'm gonna talk with this organization. Uh, you know, I just you know appreciate them giving me the opportunity, and uh, you know, thankful that they had the trust, uh, to, you know, to uh, put me in charge of running this organization. So we will uh, have a conversation uh, here. I'm sure pretty soon.